nationally, the picture is pretty grim with regards to maths. The highest percentage of children turning away from maths and disengaging from maths by the age of eight or nine compared to any other subject at school. It's not that the kids can't do maths, it's just we're presenting it in the most dull way possible. But you bring colour and life and lots of opportunity to talk, then it becomes meaningful. What we do very differently is we work with a wide range of what are called manipulatives. Things you can hold, you can touch, you can turn around and you can physically see maths concepts rather than in abstract script. It's quite meaningless to tell a child one day you're going to need this, it's going to be really useful. That doesn't mean anything to a child, but if you suddenly talk about their creations and start discussing the maths hiding in that, they're much more willing to talk and think mathematically. I absolutely hated maths, to be honest. I never knew it could be so amazing. I think it's important even at this age to encourage um, maths playing because you see a simple object and you don't notice that it's actually really complicated and that you can learn a lot from it. And it grows your mind and you can see maths in all its forms. It's different because we get to use um, different types of equipment. I like it because it gives me more chance to be creative. Being a mentor takes a lot of responsibility because you, you have to help like different children if they're stuck on different like maths equations or if they're not feeling good. It makes me stand out and makes me proud. I've become a little bit, a little bit less shy because um, I've got to meet different people from um, all over the world who are um, different ages. I didn't really know them before and, bec and because sometimes you have to do um, socialising, you get to, to build your confidence with talking to other people. When I was a kid, um, my mum showed me a lot of uh, things in maths and um, I saw how beautiful and entertaining maths can be, so I wanted to do the same for my kids. I, I was thinking maybe if they find um, that uh, maths is related with uh, so much puzzles and games they will, that will change their mind and they will find that maths is not actually a boring thing. And uh, even I am very entertained and, and my husband, sometimes uh, we sit together as a family and do these puzzles, it's so nice. I went to night school and did maths actually. And having done those, I, I just wanted it something to keep my brain ticking over properly. And I found it really interesting and I can approach that without, without being scared. I'm more for to come back every week to learn more English and maths and improve my English as well, maths as well. And it's loneliness at home is not very good. That's why I come out with friends and everybody together and make fun. When you've completed a challenge, you feel like really great, you know, you are excited. It, sometimes it's really hard because I was doing it from last week and I couldn't get it done. So I came back today and I thought I have to do it. As soon as we've got a mindset of I can do, whether we are five, whether we are 95, once we're presented with a, an uncertainty, an unfamiliar context or situation out in the real world, outside all of this maths, we're much more likely to find really helpful solutions rather than turn away, walk away and not grow as people. To see our work funded out of a social impact budget is actually really inspirational. Genuinely invest in in its residents in different ways and I am really grateful and thank yous you know due to both Clarion Ethnic Minority Centre and the parents and the kids who come.